hey there uh, welcome back uh, so in this video uh, we'll start uh, building a a code uh, or pages related to particular project so that is when we click on view my studio then the whatever the components needed uh, to showcase the project details and to create a shots using the uh, prompt and that logic we are going to handle since uh, the coming videos will be all related to a particular project so first we have to build a context uh, for, for that project okay so let's uh, build a context using the create react uh, context create context uh, from uh, react okay so for that i am going to create a, a new folder called context and in that i am going to create a new file called project hyphen context.tsx and in that we'll start writing code okay fine so in this source section i'm going to build a new folder called context so in this a file name called project hyphen context dot sx okay fine so here uh, first we are going to create context called uh, project context okay so let's write that variable okay that is export const project context and this would be of uh, from uh, create context from react okay so here we are going to define what and all we have to keep track of okay first is the list of the shots that this project is having okay then after that then as more result so this variable to showcase if there is more shots to be showcased okay so this variable will keep track of that and then uh, short credits that is how many shots that are still left in this project so that we are going to keep track in this variable and then prompt wizard credits prompt wizard credits is nothing but we are going to provide assistance to generate a prompt using open ai completion api so that it this variable is going to keep track of how many prompts that user still can generate okay so this is uh, that this is for that okay and then as a callback functions you know to update credits after the user has started using the shots okay so here input param would be uh, short credits let's name the variable as shorts credits and this would be of uh, type number and the written type is void okay and similarly update uh, prompt uh, wizard credits as well so that is prompt wizard credit credits okay so again uh, this would receive uh, integer as input uh, parameter so let's name this as a prompt wizard credits so this is of type number and returns void fine after that is loading more so this uh, is variable by default will be loading certain number of uh, shots uh, per studio if there is any more shots left so this variable is going to help to load more shots okay so that is for this and then add shot okay so this is going to add shot here on clicking on shoot okay so this is to create a shot so that is a function which receives input parameters of shot type and returns void okay then the project details okay this would be of type uh, so let's create one interface called iStudio page props and uh, that will define inside our types okay going back to uh, types.ts so in this i'm going to create a interface called okay so interface called i uh, 
studio page uh, props sorry it's a studio props okay and uh, this would have two variables one is a project would be of type project with charts okay along with that we are going to have count of how many shots that this project is having okay so let's name like this shots okay then after this one more variable which is as image input available so you'll understand why i'm uh, writing this uh, variable okay so he this one is for like while generating a shot we have an option uh, to upload a reference image uh, and generate a shot uh, as well as just write a prompt and then generate a shot so this is for this to confirm if there is an image input available to generate a shot this confirms us okay so this would be of type boolean okay so the interface we have defined so let's head back to our project context okay and so here we will refer the interface we have just created so we want only of type project yep so this does that then after this short template okay so this gives uh, the uh, template uh, to create a short okay so this would be of type uh, short or undefined and then update uh, short template this is a uh, callback function to update a particular short okay so Basically, this is nothing but a card. Let's say, say you say card to hold uh, object of type short. Okay, fine. So this can be short or undefined, and the return type is void. Then uh, one function to fetch our uh, shorts. Okay, so this would not receive any input param and uh, returns void okay and uh, we'll have one text area where we would take uh, the prompt as an input so let's create an input ref for that so let's name the variable as prompt input ref so this would be of type you know reference object and uh, it would be of type html text area element okay yep then uh, then prompt image url okay this would uh, hold the image url uh, so prompt image url this would be of type of string or undefined then after this uh, to set uh, prompt image url one callback function so set prompt url okay this would uh, receive a string as a input param that is prompt image url and uh, make this would be of type of string or undefined so and this return type just void okay yep so these are all the uh, things are needed uh, for us to know about particular project and this should be of uh, not null okay fine so yeah, now let's create a project provider so that we can wrap uh, the all uh, studio related code inside this project provider okay so let's name this as uh, export this project uh, provider and this would receive two input uh, uh, params so let's make so one is a children and uh, one more is the project so this would be of type you know i studio page props project did i miss something okay fine i studio page box project okay okay fine so the type has to be mentioned here that's why we are receiving an error here okay so 
Yeah, this is how we should mention the types. So, okay, children would be of type uh, React component. So, that is a React node. So, let me import this here uh, React node. And the project would be of type iStudio page props project okay yep so now uh, in this we're going to keep track of all the variables that are needed and also uh, write the callback functions to update certain params okay and all okay first i'm going to create one variable to keep uh, the prompt input reference uh, okay so let's name this as prompt input reference and this would be use uh, use ref hook okay and this again as i mentioned this would be of type html text area element so text area text area element okay and initially it would be null fine so now uh, to keep track of a uh, list of shorts this uh, project has okay so that is shorts set shorts and we'll make use of the use state hook and uh, by default we'll set the project dot shorts where value and then the short template okay and uh, here again the callback function to set short template this would be of type short and initially it is empty okay and then uh, prompt image url that is prompt image url set prompt url and uh, this would be of type uh, string and uh, initially empty okay fine then uh, how many to skip and all so here set to skip callback function and uh, this we will define here constant variable so here uh, let's define the shorts per page as a variable that is shorts per uh, page as a nine okay so here i will set that shorts per page so that would be the initial value and then uh, as more result okay so here as more result and the callback function for this set as more result this again would be based on if uh, project dot uh, shorts length you know is less than uh, project dot count that shorts okay so basically uh, if the shorts dot length of the project is less than whatever the project count says that then it will know that there is more uh, result to showcase so that is when this variable will be set uh, true or false accordingly okay then uh, variables to keep track of you know short credits and the prompt wizard credits so for that short credits set uh, short credits and uh, here you state project dot credits value okay and uh, similarly prompt wizard uh, credits so that is uh, set prompt wizard credits and uh, this would hold value of you know project dot uh, prompt wizard credits okay fine so those are the variables that uh, we are in need of so we have created that 
and uh, here uh, to load uh, the shorts associated with the project we have to write one api uh, so that we can load more uh, shorts uh, associated to particular project so for that uh, i'm going to create one api inside the projects uh, folder that is here inside projects id so that's uh, let's name this as shorts okay that is inside this so let's create a new file called shorts.ts okay you are now going back to uh, shorts.ts so let's first create a handler that is const handler and assign the input param would be uh, two objects next api request and uh, response okay that is next api response of type okay okay and here we'll get the session first using await get session by passing the request object and here to capture project id so using query dot id as a string okay and uh, extract two more variables that is a take and skip from react uh, dot query sorry request dot query okay so if uh, session dot user is uh, present then only we'll try to uh, make a call to our db so let's import that db from db core so import db and uh, here we'll make call to project okay find first uh, through and here we are going to fetch the details of the particular project that is using the project id and the user id i am going to make use of session dot user id and the model status has to be succeeded okay fine and then we'll include uh, details regarding a short table that is count select shorts uh, as a true okay and then from shorts table we are going to order by created at descending order okay and uh, we are going to take whatever the query param we receive in the take variable if not default it will be 10 okay and we are going to skip the uh, skip for query param we have received or else we are not going to skip any by default it will be zero okay overall we are going to order by created at okay so order by created at descending order okay and finally we will uh, return the response in the json format okay so that is uh, shorts so project dot uh, shorts and then a uh, shorts con project dot uh, count dot shorts okay yep if not we are going to say that uh, you are uh, not authentic stuff by sending the status code as 401 and the message as you know not authenticated okay so okay fine so finally export our handler yep so this is the api call uh, to fetch uh, the uh, shots that the project has so going back to our project context so now we will uh, make use of that api and uh, write a function to uh, help uh, for loading our shots if there are any okay so this is how i'm going to define using the uh, use query hook of uh, react query okay so is loading let's name this as is loading more and uh, 
e fetch okay use query name this uh, give id for this hash now uh, short siphon of projects shorts per page okay and then uh, the skip table so that it will be unique id okay and in this go input params and uh, call axios dot get it would receive of type you know list of a short okay and uh, then shorts called this would be of type number okay so it's so actually we have to enclose like this and inside so this would receive of type and now we will use the api call which we have just created that is slash api slash projects uh, slash the id of this project that is project dot id and uh, short okay this is the uh, endpoint and now the query parents okay here we will pass your shorts per page take and uh, skip skip or whatever the value we have in our skip variable okay yep then after this uh, what i will be call back functions and uh, this enabled uh, this false and then in on success callback function we're going to receive the response and uh, extract the data property from response object okay and then set as more result value based on short dot length plus data dot uh, short dot length combined together is less than data dot short score okay so and accordingly this would be set uh, if there are more result uh, to false or true okay fine if uh, data dot uh, short dot length is uh, the value is true then we are going to set uh, shorts value into shorts variable that is we are going to spread uh, uh, shorts with the values in the data dot shorts okay and same we are going to update our skip variable set skip skip uh, plus shorts per page okay so that is what we are going to do uh, if the ap call to this was successful that is is loading more fine uh, now uh, we are going to uh, write the functions to add short update credits update prompt uh, Wizard credits and update short template and all. So, first let's uh, write a function to add a short. So, and uh, this would receive input type as short variable. So, here we are going to set shorts, okay? That is add short to existing shorts add a short to existing uh, shorts okay that is shorts and also update uh, short credits that is uh, decrement uh, the short credits by one and uh, increment the uh, skip value also by one so that is the uh, add short function and then next function that we'll be writing is update uh, credits so this would receive a number as input variable and then we will set short credits accordingly with whatever the value we receive as the input param 
and next is update uh, prompt wizard credits so again this would receive a number as input param and then we will set prompt wizard credits accordingly okay fine so after this uh, we are going to write one more function to update a short template so this would receive input param of type uh, short template so of type short okay so short or undefined okay so here we are going to uh, set a short template to whatever d value we receive as our input param that is a short template if a short template is is not null then uh, we were going to set the value to our prompt input ref uh, text area okay that is short template dot prompt the, this this is nothing but if short template is not null so whatever the prompt is associated to particular short template that value will be put into our text area element okay fine so after this uh, one more function to fetch the short so this is where we are going to call the above API which we have just written mm -hmm. so fetch shorts and the name which we gave was a refetch so that is what we are calling here so this will uh, call this uh, API the refetch and uh, get the shorts associated to this project okay fine so finally uh, we are going to return uh, the project context provider so like this provider and the values that we are going to be passing is are all this shorts as more result short uh, credits and then update uh, credits is loading more add short project variable and then short template update a uh, short template fetch a shorts function prompt input ref then prompt wizard credits then update uh, prompt wizard credits prompt image url then set prompt image url okay so these are all the values that would be uh, providing to our project context provider okay and then inside this we are going to wrap the children and uh, finally uh, export default project context provider okay so yep so what is the issue here okay so this is not fetch this is return okay fine yeah so uh, this is uh, the project context okay these are all the values we will be needing in the uh, page that is associated to particular project so in the coming video inside our uh, studio or id page that is uh, the unique page for each project we are going to make use of this uh, project context which you have created okay so this is it for this video thank you so much